Hi, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to another video in my series of home security and video surveillance systems. Now this video might not make sense uh, or much sense if you haven't watched the beginning of my series of the PTZ camera. But today I'm going to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi, the PTZ Wi-Fi smart camera to the app. All right, let's get started. So of course the first thing you need to do is install the app. Now many different uh, brands or cameras will use different uh, apps. In our case we have ICC Pro uh, or ICC. There's some other ones like uh, HiCam or for this one we used IP Pro. But in this case we're using the ICC Pro. So the first thing we need to do is log in. Now my dad already registered, registered for an account. Next step what we're going to do, we're going to set this down for now, is we're going to plug it in. Now, as you can see here, we already mounted it to simulate the mounting. And we're going to plug it in. Alright. So we're also going to have to factory, factory reset it because it's already been set up. Just going to make sure that I wait for it to start before I factory reset it. Get ready for the voice. Connecting. Please wait. Mm, don't want to mess up any operations. Just Connect to router successfully. Okay. In order to factory or set the camera, all we have to do is go to the reset button. It has the cap on it. And hold it down. Restore factory settings. Please don't power off. And don't turn it off. <laughs> okay, now that it's turned off, I mean, factory reset it, we can get to it. So in order to connect the camera to your phone, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we're connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now we use Xfinity, which uses a uh, dual band. So if you have dual band Wi-Fi set up, make Wait sure- Wait to be configured. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is separated into 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. In our case, we've already done that, but in the future, we might show be doing a video on how to do that. Now, way to be configured. Now, I can't show you right now how to set it up. So, like I said, we're doing a video. We'll, we'll probably do a video on it in the future, or you can search it up how to do it. Let me just way to be password. configured. Way to be configured. And now we're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The reason that's important is because it's actually this camera actually Wait doesn't to be configured. This camera doesn't actually connect to five gigahertz Wi-Fi, so that's good. that's a problem, but it's not too bad. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to show you how to do this. Uh, we're going to overlay the image on the video instead of actually showing you on my phone because that's a bit janky for you to see. Wait so to be configured. The first thing is the best practice is to register for an account. Of course, they'll send you a confirmation email and all that. All you have to do is just register for an account just to make sure that everything is easier. We're going to put. Wait to be configured. We're going to log in and then we're going to click add device. Then we're going to set up my device. Wait, so click the plus on the top right. Click set up, my, set up my device to Wi Fi since we're already connected to the 2.4 gigs Wi-Fi. When it's connected, just click next step. Make sure that this is saying wait to be configured. Wait to be configured. Put in the Wi-Fi password. And that's gonna take a few while to connect. I think last time it took 30, 30 seconds. So we'll see. Wait to be configured. It should say, connecting, please wait. The, the camera should say that when it actually does connect. Wait to be configured. Come on. Wait to be configured. May have to get closer to the... Way to be configured. Connecting. Please wait. Please wait. There we go. All right. So.
Connect to router successfully. There we go. So, there we go. Okay, next step is we're at set password. Of course, you can set it to whatever you want. You can always uh, change it later in the password settings. If you don't want to, you can always just set it now. And then if you don't want there to be a password when you log in, all you have to do is just factory or set it again. It'll still be, still be connected to your phone, but there'll be no password. After that, there's going to be a modify the device name. You can put whatever you want. Of course, you can also modify the robot name. All I have to do is go to the device, click settings, and then it brings you to a whole ton of settings like basic setting, password management, alarm setting, storage management, advanced setting, network setting, general about device. I'm guessing that to change the name of the device, not this one, I guess, basic setting? Oh, this is how you change the name of the device. Uh, let's name it Ion Imus. <laughs> Confirm. Um, let's, oh wait, I forgot to press save. That doesn't matter. The next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate the camera capabilities. And for that, I just wanna slow down the camera a bit. So I think in order to slow that down. Okay. All right, so we're going to try to slow down the camera. Now I don't see it here, but I'm guessing that when we actually open it up, all right, so I can't find the settings for the camera right now, but when we try to set it up, like this is what it looks like. So this is where the camera is aiming over there. So what we're going to try to do with the camera is we're going to try to zoom in and try to read something because this has five times optical zoom. All right. No, wait, no, wait. Zoom would be the plus right here. It's a bit hard for me to see. Let's try reading the um, the award right there. Oh, wrong way. You can look, look at the camera. Look at that, that's cool. Okay. Okay, let's zoom in. Oh, it might be the glare actually. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's the glare, I can't read that, hold on. Let's see, what else can we read? Let's try looking at the family photo over there. Zoom in to... Oh. It's a bit hard to navigate because I'm doing this from the other side. So I'm gonna go up. Oh, you see, that's really fast. That's why I was looking for the camera setting. Okay, just a bit of navigation work. All right, let me see if there's a setting for the speed. All right, so obviously, we're not gonna be able to explore all these settings on this camera right now, but you know, there's a few things to talk about. There's, for example, there's a, actually, there's an intercom system you can use. You just click this microphone, and it's actually gonna echo because it's going to just loop around. So let me see if this works. Let me just make sure that this, I see that was not a good sound, but let's see. Let's let's try this. Hello. Hey. So the microphone works. I okay. How do I turn it off? <laughs> uh. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think it was, um, I, I, I was listening to the uh, speaker too, because it has, you can, I can, because it, it has a microphone too. All right, that's pretty cool. So I'll talk more about, I'll demonstrate more of the features in a later video, but for now, I just showed you how to set up the camera on the IC Pro. All right, really quickly, we're gonna do the ICC regular app. So let me just log in here. I'm just gonna make sure you can't see my finger movements in case you're trying to hack into it. I mean, you probably just, if you were trying to use my finger movements in order to detect it, you probably would have figured it out by now. Uh, according to this, it's already linked to the account. So I guess across ICC and ICC Pro that they share accounts. Invalid password. I think you just saw me put in the password, but that's all right. Okay. So 
if I didn't make, already make it clear, setting up to the setting up to IC Pro and ICC is basically the same thing because they share accounts. I'm just right now. I'm just trying to figure out how the hand works. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up with the NVR because because this is on this compliant that means we can actually hook this wi-fi camera up to the nvr and that will be a fun video and just watching this camera actually it's really cool <laughs> i'm still gonna have to get a bit used to controlling it because it's a bit weird so i'm iman and today i showed you how to hook up your wi-fi smart camera to the I, the Wi-Fi smart camera app. In this case, we have a high CU camera to the ICC or ICC Pro app. In your case, you might have a lot of trouble uh, trying to set this up as we did because it took my dad uh, three days to figure out how to split up the 2.4 gig Wi-Fi and five gig Wi-Fi. So that was fun for him and he ended up learning a lot about it. And I guess, that's pretty much it. So I'm Iman. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on iNightman, especially the home security and video surveillance videos. And I guess all that's all for now. That's a bit weird the way I'm talking, but I guess that's it. Signing out. Peace. <laughs>